Yeah. My dad once told me, um, I mean, this was like, you know, when I was in my teens or something, and he told me that he thought that painting was the most noble profession that you could possibly pursue. Um, so, you know, both of my parents, I feel like they both, both of their careers are in fields that they're really passionate about. So, you know, my dad is a uh, booking agent for international music, and my mother is a historian, and it's like, they're, they're very different in their fields but both of them made a living out of something that they love and that they find an endless um, enjoyment and inspiration in. So definitely, I mean, I guess a lot of parents say, like, be whatever you want to be, but my parents really, <laughs> really believe that. You know, they indulged every whim that I ever had, um, countless music lessons that turned out to be totally fruitless. Um, but yeah, definitely. I feel like one of the reasons that I'm still doing art, probably the biggest reason, is because I did have a lot of support from them when I was, I mean, from the very beginning. The reason that people maybe don't pursue creative avenues is because they don't get encouragement and they say that it's not practical and it's not, you know, financially viable and like all those things are true, but it doesn't mean that it's still not valid, you know. So I think it's really important to have somebody just like reassure you that, you know, like maybe this path isn't the most <laughs> stable or whatever, but, you know, if it's in you to pursue it, then don't deny yourself that. You know, like it's okay to give your, yourself permission, I think. So it helps to have that reinforcement from the beginning, you know, develop those creative habits. I wouldn't say, you know, when I was younger, I wasn't necessarily drawing every day. Maybe when I was a little kid, but there was a big gap. You know, you get bogged down with school and with, you know, social life and all of that, and, and you kind of lose a lot of this habit. Um, but I found that in recent years when I realized that this was something that I was kind of in for the long haul, um, that I was going back to the, like, very, very early practices of just, like, I mean, basically, like, what I'm doing now is coloring, you know, as far as, you know, giving myself that same freedom to just, like, sit down and make something in, like, very much the same way that a little kid does. You know, like, not really knowing any outcome, but having, like, a big idea of what you want to do and then just, like, allowing yourself to go as far as you can on that theme. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I still draw every day. I try to get into the studio every day. Um, I think it's really important to give yourself a physical space, not just, like, a mental space to, you know, pursue whatever, but also to kind of make a place that is specifically for this. Um, because then sort of all of the impositions of the outside of the world can't get in and you have a little bit more freedom and you're a little bit more comfortable letting yourself go and letting your mind wander and letting yourself be vulnerable, which I think are all really important things to kind of developing your creativity and letting it flourish. So yeah, I still have a lot